Hi guys, this is Charles. I'm one of the surgeons at South Pose. Uh, this afternoon I'm going to talk to you about a case that presented to us uh, a couple years ago and had a large liver mass removed. It's been doing really well. It's 14 years of age and they did uh, repeated blood work and found that it had elevated liver enzymes. So they did an ultrasound and found another mass uh, on the liver which was apparently in a similar location. So we got them in. We're doing, uh, we've done a CT scan. Uh, to see if the mass was removable and I'm just going to review that CT scan with you now. Just turn my camera around. Alright, so uh, when we're looking at the scan here, so just to review our anatomy, we've got the dog on its back here, that's the spinal cord in the middle there, spinous process there, and there's a ribs there, that's the heart right there, vena cava is sitting right there. So as we head caudally, we're getting into liver right there. There's continuation of the vena cava. You can see hepatic veins going into the liver. Um, and then as we progress, you can see this large mass right here, which is probably left middle liver lobe. And to be honest, if that's all there was, I think that it would be uh, fairly straightforward to remove. So that's the left middle liver lobe there. Uh, just a bit more anatomy here. We've got the stomach right there. Again, that's the vertebral body there. Aorta, vena cava, portal vein. So portal vein, vena cava, aorta, stomach, and we can see normal liver here, and then we've got a large liver mass sitting there. So as we head farther back, we can see another huge mass in the left lateral lobe of the liver over here. Um, we can also see the right kidney there, which is going to be farther cranial. And that left lateral liver lobe mass is quite large. So uh, going back forward, we see the two liver masses sitting right there. Now of interest here, this dog has, uh, or, or is Cushingoid. So I'll just zoom in right here and you can see the right kidney right there and then you can see the right adrenal gland there right next to the vena cava and that adrenal gland is definitely enlarged and then as we head caudally we've got the left adrenal gland sitting right there and then the left kidney right there. So there's the liver mass up there, the left kidney sitting right there. And then as we head farther back, um, just see loops of intestine, and then the bifurcation of the aorta and the vena cava into the iliac vessels coming into the leg there. That's getting into the um, uh, ilial wings there. And so that's the sacrum right there. And then heading caudal, that's getting into the caudal vertebrae and into the tail. So if you have any questions about that, um, please post them in the comments. Um, and so just to review again, 14 year old dog that has a recurrent liver lobe mass that was found on elevated liver enzymes on blood work and then an ultrasound. And then we've done a CT scan which shows not only this large liver lobe mass right here, but as we head over, we see another large liver lobe mass here. So we're recommending conservative management in this patient. Um, and I've seen dogs go for years with masses like this that have not been removed. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and we will see you again soon.